on his way up who it feels like more people than not are tuning in because you probably get a brutal knockout and you're getting people that don't usually tune in to fighters who are building their way to a world title watching fight after fight um i think it's i think that's to be confirmed i wouldn't compare him to Virgil Ortiz just yet um, I think that fantastic knockout against Sammy Vargas, Vargas last time out. Um, and I think that if you were to do a poll on Twitter and say, right, who's the next UK pay-per-view star? I'm confident Conor Ben would win that poll. Um, because someone's going to need to replace the likes of Andy Joshua Fury, Kel Brook, Amir Khan, those sort of guys. Um, so I think he is favoured to be the next uh, comparison to Virgil Ortiz, but I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't say so yet, personally. Yeah, um, it's interesting because I'm looking at, like, if I were to buy a stock, right? I'll throw this question at you, and I, it's an unfair question, right? I'm putting you on the spot. But we got my man, Benjamin Whitaker, who I'd probably invest in. He'd probably be my stock. We got Ben Whitaker, we got Pat McCormick, and we got Connor Ben. Which one would be the tastiest <laughs> stock that you would buy in at this moment? um oh man that's a good um I'm, I, I really liked what i saw of pat mccormack at the olympics and i think he's going to do really special things but i don't want to come across as if i'm like a connor ben hater <laughs> or if i don't believe in him i do you but know the it, internet man you know how the internet is like you're trying to be too rational yeah, and reasonable that doesn't yeah. really work on the internet no not not so oh, well it's a bit it's it's, it's it's too late now um but to answer your question um Pat, Pat McCormack would be who I would who I would invest in the most but I think I think everyone I think everyone's great <laughs> because I think that there's gonna be always connected a rivalry between Pat McCormick and Connor Ben just because Connor Ben is going to be the guy that went pro he has a famous father and Pat McCormick is going to be the traditional I came up through the Olympics guy I got a silver I'm the pedigree guy. And I think these two are always going to be linked together in some capacity in UK boxing. Yeah. Like, I think, I think that's quite possible. I think we just have to, I think, as I said, a big fan of Pat McCormack, but we're going to have to, have to, have to wait and see. And, um, but I think that look, I wouldn't mind betting this time next year, people are making those sorts of comparisons. We don't know how quickly Pat McCormack's going to rise through the pro ranks, but no, that could be, um, that don't 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 see why don't 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 see why not. But look, in a year's time, Conor Ben could be close to fighting for a world title, whereas Pat McCormack could be, you know, two and zero as a professional. So we just we just, just have to see. I uh, not to hope for anything, but I hope Pat McCormick signs with Eddie Hearn and he just gets a part of that machine where they're whipping him out every month or two, and he's just decorated because I feel like UK guys, that's the place to be. For Connor Ben is part of his appeal that he's the son of Nigel Ben, a cultural icon. I mean, that's kind of like a duh statement. Like, of course, you're like, you're like, that's that's his son. But I mean, is there like most most sons of fighters, there's a hard road where people are consistently doubting them. I noticed with Connor Ben, it feels like people really, really want to believe in him. This is an uncommon thing I've seen with the son of great fighters. Yeah, I, th I think I think so. so. I would say something similar about 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 Chris Eubank Jr. Um, regards to kind of their personality or not, people, I think people want to see them fail from 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 the off. I think people kind of assume you're an arrogant person if you have a have a have a successful parent in the in the sport. Um, but no, I think with Conor Ben, I think it's a great story because rewind three years ago. I don't know if you remember, remember that fight he had against the um don't remember the guy's name, the 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 French guy. Okay. I am remembering a, it. He had a fight and he got knocked down twice, I believe, and just about scraped a point for an over eight rounds, eight rounds. And at that point, everyone like vast majority of people said, right, he's not going to be able to win a British title. He's crap, he's rubbish. And to go from there to where he is now, it's quite the quite the rise. He's done so. So, so well in the in the last in the last two or three years he's and he's, his, his improvement is incredible as well um but i think there is still that portion of people who who yeah just don't like him for for whatever reason and are always going to write him off um up until the point where he he, he he achieves what he can achieve in the sport 
Well, I remember that fight because I remember the comments on Twitter and websites were kind of entitlement. It was like, you wouldn't be in this position if you weren't from this family. Like you are entitled, you are undeserving of this position. You just got exposed. Exposed is kind of like the most nasty word in boxing. They exposed him. And what do you think changed in Connor Ben from that moment till now? Was it coaching or was it motivation from that negativity? I think motivation personally. I think I think he's worked harder. I'm not saying he maybe I'm not saying he didn't take the sport seriously first. I think he did. I just think he maybe had told himself how hard he was going to have to work to get to a certain level. And if you look in the difference in his physique from when he, um, from three years ago to now, there is quite a big difference. He's clearly worked a lot harder in the gym. Um, so, so fair, fair play to him. He's clearly, and you can tell, you can tell he's motivated. You can tell he's motivated pre-fight interviews, post-fight interviews in the ring as well. You can tell he goes into fights and whether he's better than his opponent or not, you can tell, you can tell he wants, he wants to win more. This is a good point. Now I've got to hit you with the WTF from American fan perspective. Giovanni Strafan versus Maxi Hughes. WTF. We don't know a single thing about this fight. No. <laughs> um, cool. So Maxi Hughes, fantastic story. Um, big, 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 big fan of Maxi Hughes. Um, got a lot of um, got, got a lot of time for him. He's gone through his career and cup. So I think he's got four losses now. Um, just I think he went through a period where kind of he was close to quitting the sport. And then um, last year he was up against John O'Carroll and everyone kind of expected John O'Carroll to win on points. That was what most people just expected to happen. Maxi Hughes got the win, got the upset. And then since then, he's just kind of looked better and better. And there's nobody who in the division 